Yeah, it's a great day for football in this lovely stadium. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. The match has so much potential and kickoff is just moments away. This should be a special game, Alan. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Looking forward to this. I'm hoping for a nice, quick start that will set the standard here between two good teams. And now it's time for the national anthems. Check now on Sweden's starting 11. Looking at the lineup, he's got all the components in place, hasn't he? The manager for the pressing style of play has been a feature of his team. Yeah, and uh, many an opponent has found it difficult to cope with. If your touch isn't spot on against this aggressive type of closing down, you're going to lose it in dangerous areas. Portugal with uh, a wonderful football history, of course. They did win the Euros in 2016, we've talked about that. I remember 1966 when they pushed England all the way in England for the World Cup and actually finished third. Had a fantastic campaign led by Eusebio. Yeah, he was a huge name, wasn't he, in Portugal football. And if Ronaldo's a hero now, he was just as big a star back then. Portugal have this starting 11. Rui Patricio starts in gold. Pepe starts with Ruben Dias in defence. Bruno Fernandes starts with Jean Moutinho in midfield. And the great man is up front today, Cristiano Ronaldo. A lot of build-up. Finally, we're underway for the game itself. Read that well with the interception. Where it is. What an opportunity if he picks out the right man. That's proper clearance. Well away from the danger zone. Olsen. Excellent work with the tackle. Now a chance to get a bit of width into this attack. It's a stat that I've used often. I apologise if you've heard it before in these circumstances. But... He didn't score in his first 26 Champions League games, Cristiano Ronaldo. He's made... Well, this could be an opportunity. In behind the defence. Brilliant goal! Well, it's the understanding you've got to admire here, Martin. The ladder getting on to the end of it. The boy seeing the pass quickly. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Real pleasure for Portugal. They've got this lead. Lindelof, Olsen, Quaison, Robin Quaison, Gian Moutinho, here's uh, Danilo Pereira, Cristiano Ronaldo, spotted that well and intercepted. Sebastian Larsen. Well, that's over the top of the defender, and one to chase. Forsberg. Well, they look promising there in that wide area, but the defender's done well. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Bernardo Silva. He's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. 
a brilliant breakaway goal. Well, that was absolutely mesmerising the way they moved the ball forward so swiftly, so slickly. Well, it's a sucker punch for the opposition who were thinking they were going to score at the other end. All of a sudden, they're furiously backtracking. Let's have another peek at that goal. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. They read the opponent's mind and got the ball. Fernandez, I wonder whether it will be a happy birthday for him. I think the result's going to decide that. Bernardo Silva. Giamatino. Top performance from a top team, and they've emphasised their superiority with the number of goals that they've scored. Well, that's put them further in front and nicely taken. Certainly was, and uh, they seem to be heading for a comfortable lead here. And here is another angle on that goal. So they restart again, a bit demoralised now, I think, in a game like this. Stopping the pass, getting through with a good piece of anticipation. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. The shot's on, and the goalkeeper got across to it. Put the corner in the middle. Punches it away. Guedes. Is this the moment? The referee has acknowledged the flag from his assistant and given the offside. Well, stuck out a foot and cut off the pass. Now, I think we've seen it. The visitors controlling possession. And haven't we seen some lovely football out there? Knocked it about. It's been difficult for the opposition to get near to that ball at times. They've been given a real chasing. It's a neat pass. Surely. Oh, what a tackle to break up the play. Olsen. Lindelof. Made a quick interception. One or two options now in forward areas for them. Poor cross, but good defending. And it will be a corner here. Corner's taken. Keeper up well to punch the corner. Oh, it could be off. Offside. The officials clearly in agreement. And that's a straightforward offside decision. Ricardo Pereira. Bernardo Silva. He's got players helping him here, but he might go alone. Juan Moutinho. Want to keep possession, that's the way they play, but they're not doing it. Lindelof. Quaison. Olsen. Gian Moutinho. Little piece of interplay between the two. They've lost the ball. 
Moutinho with good vision. Bernardo Silva. Great tackle. Quaison. Cut out the pass. Forsberg. Promising from Portugal, they've got the ball back. Here's uh, Danilo Pereira. It's Ruben Diaz. Intercepted here. A good chunk of added time here. Three minutes. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. He doesn't want to lose it here. Guedes. Good tackle. Robin Quaison. Olsen. Well, there's a lot of international pride out there, despite it being a friendly match, but a big lead. Uh, and for the other country, of course, a big deficit, Alan Smith. Yeah, I mean, the losing team, some of those players hanging their heads, and they, and they should do, because they just haven't performed out there. Really was a very one-sided first half, and the team on the wrong end of that scoreline has got to show a bit of backbone now. He saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Have a look at what's on now from this wide position, not closed down. Sharp in the tackle, but it'll be a throw now. Olsen, they've got the ball back by that interception. This could be a chance. Well, that's not even close. Saw it coming, cut it out, good work. Olsen. Forsberg. He's got skill with the ball, backing himself in these circumstances. Now, can they make this count? Keeping the ball well in a dangerous area now. Read the intentions. Olsen. They could get a cross in here. Bad. In towards the far post. That's a great interception. Not really tested the goalkeeper, but sometimes it can look a bit too easy. He made sure he made the save confidently. Yeah, he did, and he doesn't make too many mistakes, this lad. Whipped in from the wide area. Oh, that's great work by the goalkeeper. He's put in the corner. Good defending at the front post, but not such a good corner. Portugal attacking now. It's a real opportunity. Far too close across to the keeper. Ekdal. Franson. Well, we're two-thirds of the way through the 90 minutes. Half an hour to go. Danilo Pereira. I do like this referee. He's playing the advantage all the time, and he's given Portugal one now. And he's trying to get it away. Throw in here. And now the goalkeeper can... Maybe think about starting an attack. Here's uh, Danilo Pereira. Gian Moutinho. Lost the ball. Now he could play it into the danger area. On the move and able to cut out the pass. 
Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Trying the possession game unsuccessfully at the moment. Franson. Berg. Forsberg. Made a quick interception. Berg. Near post run from his teammate. Saved by the keeper. He can't hang on to the ball. He doesn't want to lose it here. And Ronaldo. Good vision. Can he beat the goalkeeper one-on-one -on -one here? Can he do it? Well, now it looks like a question of just how many. They really are on top now, stretching the lead, looking like the real winners of this match. That does extend their margin now at an important time. There's a huge golfing class out there, Martin, and that's been shown by the scoreline. So they restart again, a bit demoralised now, I think, in a game like this. Sometimes being a favourite in a match can weigh heavily, expectation and all that. It's not a problem for this team, is it? No, I think their manager will be delighted because they've not uh, taken it easily at all. They've given respect to their opponents, but they've shown the class too. It's Ruben Neves. Guiding it through. Bernardo Silva cleared the ball. Sebastian Larson substitution that the home side want to make. Cristiano Ronaldo. They read the opponent's mind and got the ball. Well, this is a real shock. You can see it in the faces of the players, and you can hear it in the lack of noise, if you like, from the supporters. Well, those fans can't even be bothered to give their players any stick at the moment. They're just stunned into silence. Throw in now. Well, that's what substitutes the four to be used. And we've got one coming on now. Fernandez, we're down now to the last six minutes. It's time for the substitutes, I think, and the substitution for the home team here. The task not completed, really. Well, they're not happy. We can all hear it. You can't. This is how they love to play on the break. And the whistle has gone because the assistant flag for offside. Well, they've decided to make a change. There's activity down there amongst the substitutes, and one will be coming on. Out into the wide areas now. Ronaldo, he might be through. Well, that's a great block. Three minutes, that's dangerous ball dealt with by the goalkeeper's punch. Good interception. Franson. Well, that's it, it's over, this international friendly fixture. 
and a big win. Well, it was a cakewalk, really, wasn't it? And it was so easy, it was untrue. It's not often you see that happen, and I wasn't expecting it, I must admit. It was absolutely extraordinary, exceptional, elegant, excellent. Well, so often we think of his creative abilities, but a couple of goals here have won the match for his team.